From its star-studded international roster of fighters to its diverse range of weight classes, here are all the reasons why Bellator has proven that it's a way better MMA promotion than the UFC. But just for the sake of this video, why don't we take a trip down memory lane? There's a, there's a lot of steps to that whole situation, but you know I'd like to just you know I told him I said hey let's just take care of it because it really has nothing to do with Bellator that has to do with the commission and and the fighter and uh, and the league so that's that's their business and start with Bellator's history. Originally known as the Bellator Fighting Championship, the Bellator MMA is an American promotion that was founded in 2008. The mixed martial arts promotion is based in Santa Monica, California, and is one of the biggest combat sports promotions in the world, right after the UFC. Bellator was named, rightfully so, after the Latin word for warrior. Its first event was held in 2009, and since then, there have been over 260 promotional events. It's clearly extremely popular with the audience. The promotions format was meant to be super different from the UFC. In fact, it was initially marketed as the toughest tournament in sports. It had a single elimination format. There were either four or eight person tournaments, and the winner of each tournament was awarded a check for $100,000, along with a guaranteed fight for the world title against the current Bellator world champion in their respective weight class. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? This is one of the key differences between the UFC and the Bellator. Unlike the UFC, the events of Bellator are used usually organized as part of bigger tournaments, and the tournament system of the two is quite different too. This is one of the main differences between the two promotions, and is also the reason why so many fighters prefer going for Bellator. Each Bellator event begins with an opening round which features eight fighters in that respective weight class, who then move to the semifinals and later the finals. In four-man tournaments, the fights only take place in the semifinals and finals, with a month-long break between the opening round, the semifinals, and the finals. Finals. In fact, one single elimination is all it took for a fighter to be out of the tournament. The fights that take place during a tournament are played with a slightly different set of rules. For one, elbow strikes are outlawed in the quarterfinal and semifinal tournament fights, because the chances of a cut occurring are pretty high. In the finals though, elbow strikes are legal. The tournament finals aren't title fights, so they're still made up of three five-minute rounds. What makes Bellator way better than the UFC is how entertaining and exciting their tournaments are. I mean, this fact is pretty much glaring in our faces. Bellator's tournaments are what makes it so special. Sure, it has taken the promotion quite a bit of time to get the process right, but these growing pains are only a sign of maturing. It shows that the process has taken time to be perfected. By having tournaments that feature three fights to win a title shot, fans get to know these fighters on an almost personal level. They have to watch a guy win three bouts. Of course, they're going to get invested. By the time the fighter fights for the world title, the audience is absolutely captivated. They're so emotional invested in the fighter that it makes the experience of the fight all the more enjoyable and significant. The series, UFC Primetime, has tried to achieve this and failed spectacularly. I mean, that's just how it is. Nobody does it quite like Bellator. Honestly, the tournaments were a genius idea. This is one of the most unique aspects of Bellator and has helped the promotion stay afloat even during its darkest times. Bellator is known far and wide for its unique tournament formats, like the Grand Prix. These tournaments provide fighters with the opportunity to compete against a number of opponents and potentially earn large payouts. If there's one thing that separates Bellator MMA from other promotions, it has to be the World Grand Prix. Eight men vying for the $1 million Grand Prix. This thing promises to be bananas. And those winner-take-all events. This makes the Bellator Fighting Championship a must-watch sporting event, and every time they take place, thousands of viewers and MMA fans tune in to see who gets to take home the world title. Not just that, but since this promotion breeds diamonds in the rough, it's also why it's so popular among fans. Bellator seeks out talent that the UFC has overlooked, and ensures that they reach their full potential. The UFC sometimes skips over certain fighters by overlooking them or doubting their potential, and the fighters that slip through their cracks are immediately snatched up by Bellator. Bellator has some great top-level stars, too. Some of the great talent harnessed by the promotion includes fighters like Cole Conrad, Joe Warren, and Alexander Shlomenko. Even stars like Brian Baker, Pat Curran, Hector Lombard, and Ben Askren, who for some reason didn't end up at the UFC, have fought for Bellator. The thing about Bellator is that it utilizes its talent in a way that helps both the fighters and the promotion grow. It finds fighters with great talent and turns that talent into star power. Okay, that sounds like a 
Mario Brothers reference, but I'm being serious. Bellator pretty much creates stars by letting their fighters win tournaments and then marketing these champs in the best way possible. Bellator believes in its fighters, and it shows. This is something that UFC and Dana White can only ever hope to achieve, but it's never too late to learn. With an organization that you guys don't own? With, with who? With Bellator. Well, we talked about Bader. Guys, everybody they have in their light heavyweight division, we let go of. He's got the best, he's got the best light heavyweight division. We let those guys all go. Now, let's take a look at some of the greatest talents to emerge out of Bellator. Like Hector Lombard. That man is a star in my eyes, and he's piqued the interest of a number of other promotions, including the UFC. Bellator also has Ben Askren, who's a former Olympic wrestler, which is quite impressive if I'm being honest. Not to mention, they also have Pat Curran, who's the first fighter in Bellator to win more than one weight class tournament after he brutally defeated Joe Warren. As a result, he was named the Bellator featherweight champion. Another great fighter picked up by the promotion is Eddie Alvarez, who fought Shinya Aoki. And how can I forget the man who dethroned Alvarez himself, Michael Chandler. The reason why Bellator is a must-watch promotion is that it produces and promotes the kind of star talent that must be seen. Next for you, brother. Who knows, man? The future is bright, and uh, I'm excited to see what the future holds. I got a lot more fights left in me. I just now hit my prime. Watching Bellator fights is like watching an action film. I mean, it's non-stop excitement. In the two hours that it premieres on MTV2 on Saturday nights, Bellator features a total of five fights regularly. In a regular Bellator season, you'd get to see a free and entertaining fight card that features different weight classes and personalities every Saturday. That's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Unlike a UFC pay-per-view, where there's a lot of filler to fill the longer time slot, all of Bellator's fights happen in two hours. This shorter time slot means that there's hardly any any fluff, and a lot more fisticuffs. This is pretty pleasing for the audience and makes Bellator something that you definitely have to watch. One thing you might have noticed while watching Bellator bouts is that their cage differs significantly from the UFC's. That's another reason why Bellator is so much better. They simply have a better cage. Bellator has a much bigger cage than the UFC. It makes the fights all the more interesting. That's not the only difference, though. Bellator's cages are circular in shape. They're 36 feet across and have about a thousand square feet of fighting area. The cage doesn't have any corners, which makes it easier for fighters to move around. The UFC, on the other hand, features a steel cage with eight corners, known as the octagon. The size of the octagon differs from event to event. Some bouts take place in smaller octagons, while some take place in larger ones. The typical octagon is 30 feet across and over 5 feet in height. The interior area of the octagon is much less than Bellator's cages too. Smaller octagons are only 25 feet across. So, it's it's much more exciting to see a fight take place in a circular cage than it is in the octagon. Anyway, that's everything on why Bellator is so much better than the UFC.